Hammer Two is a web platform to help cancer biologists investigate the association of their interested gene expression, mutation, somatic copy number alteration with tumor immune infiltration, and together how they influence on patient overall survival. Hammer Two could also help analyze non-immune related associations. Such as differential gene expression between tumor and normal samples, and association between specific gene expression and the patient clinical outcome, and etc. It can also help estimate the immune cell infiltration for user-provided expression profiles by six state-of-the-art algorithms. Next, I will introduce how to utilize Timer Two. In cancer research, let's get started with the gene module here. During the tumor progression and the development, cancer cells and immune cells interact by multiple genes and pathways. So, if you want to look into the correlation of gene expression with immune cell infiltration, you can input your gene here, like the PD1. And we can analyze the association of its expression level with infiltration level of different immune cell type. And here we take CD8 T cell as an example. As you can see, TAMO2 will output this heat map well different cancer type as a row here. And the color is the CD8 T cell infiltration estimated by different algorithms like timer, epic, and etc. And the value in this heat map is the partial Spearman correlation between the PDCD1 expression with CD8 T cell infiltration level. And uh, we use the red color here to indicate the significant positive correlation. And we use the blue color here to indicate the statistic significant negative correlation. If you only want to focus on the specific cancer type, like the bladder cancer, and you have algorithms that you are prefer, for example, timer, you can just click here. As you can see, it will output this two scatter plot. And we always display the gene expression level against the tumor purity on the left panel, because genes highly expressed in the microenvironment are expected to have negative associations with tumor purity. And we also display the PDCD1 expression with the CD8 T cell infiltration. As you can see, they are positive here. And since the PD1 is expressed in the B cells and the T cells, so we expected to see this positive correlation. And this is how we use the immune gene module in our research. Besides the gene expression, we could also check the relationship between the mutation on a gene and immune cell infiltration. So we can go to here. As we all know, that TP53 is a tumor suppressive gene. We so we can use the TP53 as an example here. We can check the CD8 T cell infiltration between the TP53 mutant tumors and the TP53 well type tumors. Similar to the gene module. Timer 2 also output a similar format of the heat map. The, but the difference is that the value in this heat map represents the log 4 change of CD8 T cell infiltration in mutant samples over the well type samples. And the red color indicated a significant high level of CD8 T cell infiltration in TP53 mutant tumors, and the blue color indicates significant lower level of CD8 T cell infiltration in TP53 mutant tumors. 
and we also could check the detailed distribution of CD8 T cell infiltration in these two groups in a certain cancer type and uh, a algorithm we prefer. For example, we can click here. So the timer 2 will output this bo box plot to show the CD8 T cell infiltration in the well type group and the mutant group. And this is how we use the mutation module in cancer research. Moreover, we could also look into the association between somatic copy number alteration on a gene and immune cell infiltration. So we can use the SCNA module to do that. For example, MIC has been reported to be involved in a mechanism that can invade NK cell immune surveillance. So we can use the MIC A as an example here and check its association with NK cell. So we can select NK cell. Here we are trying to look at the NK cell infiltration between the MIG-A amplified tumors to the MIG-A diploid tumors. Similar to previous module, timer 2 also output this heat map. And the difference is that the value in this heat map represents the log 4 change of NK cell infiltration between the MIG-A amplified tumors and the MIG-A diploid tumors. And the red color here indicates the significantly high level of NK cell infiltration in MIG-A amplified tumors. And the blue color means the significant low level of NK cell infiltration in MIG-A amplified tumors. And we could also check into the detailed distribution of NK cell infiltration in specific cancer type and uh, at the NK cell infiltration estimated by the tool we prefer. As you can see, this box plot shows the NK cell infiltration estimated by the sample sort among the different samples in the lung screamer cancer. From this figure, we can see amplification of mic a significantly decreased the NK cell infiltration in tumor, which is consistent with the study we just mentioned. And this is how we use the ACCNA module in our research. In addition, tumor infiltrated immune cells have been reported to affect patient overall survival. Here in this immune outcome module, we can interactively explore the association between infiltration of interesting immune cell type and the patient overall survival. For example, we could explore the relationship between the CD8 T cell infiltration and the patient overall survival while controlling age, stage, gender, and the SOX10 expression, those confounding factors. And then we can submit a query. So timer 2 also output the same heat map format. And the value in this heat map represents the coefficient of CD8 T cell infiltration in this Cox pH regression. And the red color indicates the CD8 T cell infiltration is significantly associated with increased risk of patient. And the blue color means significant association of CD8 T cells with the decreased risk in patient. From this heat map, we can see CD8 T cells are good for patient survival in several cancer type, including the HPV-positive head neck cancer and the melanoma cohort. And we can also further check the relationship between the CD8 T cell infiltration with the patient overall survival in specific cancer type that we are interested in. And for example, we can just click here. 
As you can see, first, it will generate the detailed information on this Cox pH regression and also output this Kaplan map plot. In this plot, patients were separated into four groups by the SOX10 gene expression and CD8 T cell infiltration. And users can also set the cutoff by themselves. Here, for the expression and infiltration, we just use the median as the cutoff to separate the patient. And if you just change the cutoff, the, you can see the figure will change accordingly, as well as the p-value. So you can see from this figure, only when the source 10 expression is high, we can see a beneficial effect of CD8 T cells on melanoma cohorts, which is consistent the, with the role of source because source has been reported to can, can promote the T cell mediated tumor killing. And this is how we utilize the immune outcome module in our research. Furthermore, there are several modules in Timer 2 for investigating the non-immune related association between tumor features in TCJ cohorts, which are in this exploration component. For example, you can check the differential gene expression between tumor and normal samples. So we can type, for example, we can use a cancer test gene, for example, which is OTOA. You can see time 2 will output several box plots, and the red one are the tumor samples, and the blue one is the new normal samples. So from this figure, we can see these cancer test genes is significantly higher in tumor samples which is consistent with the characteristic of these genes because it is a cancer testis gene. And we could also check the relationship between a gene expression with patient over survival. And we can use several marked genes for CD8 T cells as an example for CDAA, CDAB, and Gramzon. And we can like control the age and stage those confounding factors. And you can choose more if you want. And you can see, overall, the marked gene expression is good for patient over survival. And also, we can check how a mutation on a gene will affect the expression of other genes. For example, we can check TP53 mutation and the test the whether the, the marketing expression of CD8 T cells are different in the TB53 mutant group and TB53 wild type group. You can see sometimes the TB53 mutations has a high expression of CD8 T cell marketing and in for example, in the breast cancer. And sometimes the TP53 mutant samples have low expression of CD8 T cell mark genes, for example, in HPV positive head neck cancers. And we could also check the expression between the uh, interest gene to other genes. For example, we can check the like BRAC1, which with the different gene, like whether it's associated with CD8 T cell and CD8 mark genes, so we can input here. And you can include multiple genes if you like. Can, you can see, like the black gene expression is, associated, is positively associated with mark gene expression of CD8 T cells in several cancer types. And this is the features a uh, timer have to explore the non-immune related association in TCGA cohorts. Timer 2 also has the third component, which is estimation component. In this component, user can upload their own expression profile, which is the TPM value. And the timer 2 can estimate immune cell infiltration for 
every samples that user uploaded. And Timer will use six algorithms we just described. And for example, we can download the example file here and also upload the example file to the website. And this is five samples from the TCJ lung cancer. And we can choose the species for these samples, which is human, and also choose cancer type, which is lung adenocarcinoma, and click run. So after, after several seconds, you can see first there is a table it contains the immune cell estimation by different algorithms. You can see timer sample sort and etc. And the Excel. And these are for all the samples user uploaded. And Timer 2 also output these two figures first to compare the immune cell infiltration uh, among different samples and also shows the compare the proportion of these different immune cell type within a within the same patient. And this is how you can use the estimation modules to do the immune cell estimation analysis. And this is all for the timer 2. Thanks for your watch.